Hi, this is Leslie Doyle at the Sweet Tomato Test Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada, and it's November 4th, and it's a lovely late afternoon, and this is my Brussels sprout bed. This year I got my Brussels sprouts in early, um, so we're going to have a nice crop. Um, in previous years I'd get them in too late, and they never really turned into Brussels sprouts, and here in the desert, a lot of people make the mistake of uh, planting them in the in the winter or uh, early spring, hoping to get a crop, you know, before the heat sets in. And it just doesn't work. Uh, I found that Brussels sprouts really need to be planted at the end of the summer, uh, right in the, uh, the first of fall. Labor Day might be good. I can't remember when these were planted, but somewhere around there. I think they're just looking absolutely fabulous. Last week I checked on the stems and we actually have some little sprouts forming and uh, really looking forward to eating those. Uh, they'll be much sweeter after they get a chill. These were planted a couple of months ago and uh, let's look in here and see if we can see the sprouts. Gee, I hope you can see those. I think they look great. We have some evidence here of some cabbage loopers, the holes in the leaves. And uh, we found some and we killed them. And then we coated the backs of the leaves with the uh, food grade diatomaceous earth. And that did them all in. And since then we haven't had any more cabbage looper damage. Here's a nice big plant. And uh, there you can see some, some sprouts forming there in the access of the branch and the, and the trunk. We'll have lots of Brussels sprouts this year. This bed is a, is a 2 by 16 foot bed, and we planted them uh, two plants side by side uh, down the 16 foot length. So we'll have lots of Brussels sprouts. We plan to take these to the farmer's market, so we'll have enough to share. Don't they look good? This is Leslie Doyle at the Sweet Tomato Test Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. I hope next year you'll plant Brussels sprouts. Bye. If you're having problems growing vegetables or tomatoes in your desert garden, I, might, uh, I would like to suggest buying either one of my books. Uh, this is How I Garden in Las Vegas, Nevada. And I feel that if you do what I do, you should have the same success that I have. Huge tomatoes and an abundance of them all summer long. Great vegetables all year long. You can pick food every day of the year.